It's old fashioned, down country American. You know, he's, he was a farm boy and he learned that you had to work for everything you got. Uh, he walked to school uh, many miles uh, both ways and, he, and, and it was tough to get practice in and get up early in the morning. And, and you know, it, it's things that uh, I don't think American youth uh, uh, get today. But what he learned in those days as a farm boy in a small community, uh, I think he brought to his game of basketball. He always had a struggle. He always had to work hard uh, for what he got. He was a defensive player. He was a guy who had to out hustle the other people. He had to, he had to work harder. I don't think he was the, and, and, I, and I'm sorry, but I don't think he was the most talented basketball player in the world. But he got the most out of what gifts God did give him. And that was uh, mental toughness. He brought that to the game and every coach wants that on his side. Uh, that's foremost in, in Jerry's mind. I mean, you're going to win a certain amount of games because you have good players. And if you're a good coach, you're going to get those good players to play the best they can. But basketball is temporary. And I think Jerry uh, talks to them often and about what life is going to be after basketball. He's that rare blend of superstar who can reach down uh, to the average person and make them feel good about themselves. And I've seen him do it that so much. Good lesson for all of us. Keep up the good work, Jerry. You're the best. We had a great relationship, you know. I, I learned a lot from Jerry. Uh, he was the ultimate professional uh, player, and he understood uh, players. He understood what they were thinking. Uh, you know, he would make suggestions. Maybe we should take tomorrow off, you know, something I wouldn't have thought of. Players are tired. We've traveled a lot, you know. So he had a lot of insight. Uh, he taught me about, uh, you know, defensive balance and so many things that I think helped me, uh, helped me be a better coach. And, and, you know, and, and a lot of the credit I got, it really, he deserved. And, and I hope that somewhere along the way, Jerry, I, I did try to give you uh, some of the credit. You know, I had to give some to Barbara, and I had to give some to Scotty and, and, and Phil Johnson and you. But, uh, yeah, he, we had a great relationship, and he was a great assistant coach. And right now, it's my belief, he's the best uh, coach in basketball at any level. And, uh, of course, the NBA is so competitive and they have so many great coaches, but Jerry, you are the best, not a doubt about it. Well, you know, we just honored uh, the great Carl Malone and John Stockton recently in the Hall of Fame, and you know, they came up with that, that Jerry was something special. They brought it up, that he had done more for them uh, outside of basketball. Basketball is temporary. You have the rest of your life to live, and how many players can handle that? And yet uh, players that have, uh, you know, whether it's Thurl Bailey or, or the great Mark Eaton, uh, uh, Bobby Hansen, these, are, these are, are players who took the lessons that Jerry gave them uh, beyond uh, the basketball court and made very important impacts in their lives. I know that Jerry thanks the good Lord every day for where he is. He's, uh, he's had a great life, a lot of that is contributed to him, but he realizes a lot of opportunities have come his way. He, Jerry's very humble. Uh, what you see is that facade of the tough guy and the face on him, and he's yelling at the refs and he's yelling at the players, but he leaves it there on the floor. When you go out with Jerry, you know what? He's 100% tipper. He's the type of guy that, that uh, doesn't turn people away when they want his autograph. He, he, he's very humble.